to talk to you guys folks today 9th june sunday and uh, let's take a look at the market conditions see what market look like this um, coming upcoming week uh, as we can see last week market was continuously bullish as you can see right here one two three four five almost six seven days market was bullish right here all right now this is the daily chart folks so we need to focus here see what the daily chart look like now if you look at the daily um, the last candle what you see on a Friday week about the body means we market went up all the way to 536 537 right there and we got a seller lined up and push it down so all this bullish hammer and then we got a seller lined up all right so that's the one little alert to keep it in mind all right but overall conditions are cloud conditions are bullish market looking bullish here magnet in a bull territory still bullish right squeeze is also bullish so everything looking bullish so 80 percent looking bullish but there is a caveat folks i just noticed so i just want to show you something so we're gonna go back to the 30 minute charts right here all right so what do i see here 30 minute charts i see a diversion bearish diversion no need to be scared i'm not trying to scare you folks bearish diversion but we also need to be little be careful right because market is all the way at the top high all the way at the top that's why so market is going up 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 and macd says i want to go down so if you look at it thursday and friday market try to push it up the seller lines up and sell it correct so that is the reason macd oscillator zero right now we are if this macd enter into the bear territory like this over here then we could go down so but confirmation is demand zone you need to watch here right here this is your somewhere around may 24th right this area right 531 all right folks keep this thing in mind if you see this support is broken on a monday or tuesday something like that then be careful on a long side remember whatever zero dt people do those who do zero dt you need to flow with the wind if the wind is going north direction if you choose your call you can print money if wind is blowing south direction and you try to buy the put you print money if you're doing the intraday trading okay just to give you idea if you're doing swing trading also keep that thing in mind but you need certain confirmation market is sitting all the way at the top showing little divergent what if they could bounce from here 531 and bounce just like that they did this second time so if this support breaks man then you could print money so those who are doing swing trading and all those things right they can also print good amount of money if this support area breaks remember that because monday brand new week starting lot of premiums are all the stocks premium brand new fresh premium right lot of high premium basically friday option expiry is less premium monday is high premium so market maker can afford to create a bull trap bear trap whatever they need to do but there's a weekly trap monthly trap right there's a lot of game they plan system designs that what to do with the weekly monthly earning come in right because july month earning starts now this is the only one month so point here is we need to be very careful market look like sitting all the way at the top right see what they're gonna do if this support bound we will be still bullish continuation but if this support breaks this area then we could go lower right so keep this thing in mind okay so that's for your 30 minute charge we're gonna look into five minute chart so five minute charts not gonna help us more out why excuse me because steel oscillator zero we are in the look at the smart money sitting right in the middle at 535 right here so be we are still in this channel even in the fast min, five minute which is way faster for last three days right here so this is the range market is playing between 537 and 531 we need to get out of this zone in order to be bullish in order to be bearish until then just play the ping pong so if you look at the daily chart folks look at the small range like right here 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 this last two days smaller range over here smaller range. you need bigger big big candle that's where the fun is all right so that's why we need to get out of this zone in order to move so let's see what monday market do keep this area in mind all right folks so that is your uh, bull side and bear side scenario most likely I, I i gave you 30 minute charts which is right here most likely 
it looking divergent but we are at the demand zone we already one time test so if you ask me everybody think the market is bullish but i think there is a caveat and the caveat is always something market maker loves when everybody is bullish and they change the gear you never know that is the reason they make you bullish on monday or something and then dump and then tuesday wednesday thursday right they could dump it down if they want to do like that right <clears throat> you never know folks that's why we need to get out of as long if the market is in between here remember folks smaller range remember small range you need to you need a market to move out of that range okay so plan accordingly folks if the market in between is just very choppy choppy means smaller range if the market moves out that's where the that's where the freedom you you will have because if it is in between here is like a you are the marathon in the tunnel you don't want to have the marathon in the tunnel because you're going to bang around each other and small bond range that's why all right so we don't want we want the freedom we want freedom market to move around a lot then we can print okay so keep that thing you have to remember sizing is important to understand all those things folks very very little little thing goes into the picture when we go day live when we go live every day right you got to remember those stuff <clears throat> right so that's that now we're gonna look into folks um uh, q, 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 q same thing q, q, q has divergent right here q, q, q bounce so q, q, q support is 460 as we mentioned here 460 breaks let me get rid of this so 460 is your support and the resistance around this area which is four sorry right here right here we need to get out of this let the market break upward market downward and in between is choppy right here small small cycle folks so keep that thing in mind uh, there is a divergence showing most likely we could go and test this area right here 460 folks okay most likely we could test same thing on a spy look like a little bearish okay so folks i would be focusing if you see any bounce be careful okay be careful for smaller cycle means i'm not talking about long 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 term this is i'm talking about monday tuesday only two days scenario i'm laying out folks okay let's see okay so it was a good bullish now it's turning little bearish okay but you need support demand zone is right there we need to break that demand in order to be more in order to be proper bearish until then is still sideways okay so that is your qqq also uh, area to keep in mind all right then iwm folks okay let's look at the iwm well, remember what i said folks about market update video always i post in swing alert as those who are part of the um what do i say but those who are part of the swing alert they all they know so i'm just trying to tell you folks that look what did i say that hey iwm is weaker qqq and spy is still holding strong last sunday remember last sunday when i made that video look at that what did we do iwm got a weakness and we broke the support right here 201 <laughs> remember that is the reason i said folks uh, you know it's very very important to know the market condition before we take a trade in the during the week when we during the week without knowledge we take sometime it you know we lose money it's far far better to have a technical analysis front of you every day so you can enjoy folks it's just a 750 dollar a month you can have all every day i do analysis and you become a part of, of it folks okay join if you want but it's worth it um all right so now here no, IWM we broke the critical critical area folks right here and hanging in so where IWM could go now so this area to watch IWM all right so now we remember we used to be there now we got to come back to here this area so IBM heading to 200 folks okay IBM looking I mean IWM sorry not IBM IWM is looking bearish all right so we look for a 200 range area so if you are if you if you see in the more monday tuesday right conditions be any bounce is a good shot that's how i i think here it is so look for this is bull side scenario resistance right if it's if you see like this then you could go down all right that's the weakness market has but last few days we've been we've been weakness uh, iwm so keep that thing mind and see what happened there is a bounce coming or not but look like IWM has a there is resistance 
201.84 so very very tight range on iwm folks weakness is there so i would not go long if any bounce you see i would love to short on iwm i would love short side than the long side all right so this is iwm every day i i lay out on the videos also those who are part of the subscription page all right so this is what I, iwm looks like now all right now we're gonna look into uh nvidia everybody looking at the nvidia because nvidia was super duper bullish right and then there is a nvidia has split coming in which is on monday right and see what the market maker could play dirty game because most of the retailers are bullish right so there are two things you need to keep it in mind because when there is an event folks technical doesn't matter okay technical doesn't matter anything can be uh, anything can be changed so what happened here is when it comes to nvidia they are creating the divergent bullish divergent here on nvidia so that means nvidia looking little bullish there was a bears lined up but then it is looking bullish so if you want to be bullish on nvidia we need to get above here folks okay so if you ask me i would love to go nvidia long side because of the um, split but that's why the, all the retailers are probably bullish god knows whatever it is but technical is telling me that if we break this then only bullish 12 18 then you could go to higher all right so if market maker wants to trap you if they, they can bounce also and go higher also if this get a rejection remember folks there's always coin has a two side if this get rejection then <laughs> nvidia could go back to same territory right here which is this so several times we test here and bounce so most likely okay most likely if this time we get a rejection from here and goes down then we could go test here all right keep this these are the area to watch for folks nvidia but if you break this then i would go long all right so keep this area take a screenshot if you like remember disclaimer folks you have to do your due diligence before you enter into any of your trade otherwise it could be risky just because josh said so no you have to take your own decision folks all right keep that thing in mind so that is your nvidia now let's look into bitcoin bitcoin is all right so bitcoin is creating a diversion we already tested here condition is bullish we created a little diversion now again right here but the, but 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 the squeeze is can coming in so what does it mean means if you see any weakness buyer will lined up so we might test the cloud or something this area if they pull back diversion and then we could bounce all right keep this thing in mind this is what bitcoin look like because of the diversion if they want to pull back they can pull back to 66 this area and bounce because of the conditions all right so still looking bullish all right that's your bitcoin then tesla let's look at the tesla what tesla look like tesla is oh wow remember we talk about tesla for <coughs> some point of time still the range is continuation we did not break any much area still <coughs> compression mode look at the tesla folks between 180 and 173 people are burning their premium <coughs> so those who buying monthly weekly calls puts they all are losing money because theta decay kills every day every other day you holding your calls right that's the game they're going on so right now tesla looking bullish to me right it was looking bearish now looking bullish little bit okay i'm not saying bullish bullish no this is not bullish bullish this is just the wedge so some few days bearish few days bullish you need to they're gonna make it, this wedge can break upward this wedge can break down or earlier break, wedge it's supposed to look like a breaking down and look at the trap right and they push it up now they're gonna say oh we're gonna go up 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 and then we test this and get a rejection probably go down that's the reason i said you train has to leave the station 180 right here and right here until then is ping pong ping pong and who loses the money retailers right that's the game going on so plan accordingly folks what you got to plan with the cycle if you are in the wrong cycle you're in a roller coaster ride and you are in a, an uphill you enter then it's gonna go down because you you think gonna go up you that's why you need to look for the roller coaster ride how it's riding look at the what kind of ride it is 
right? You need to wait until that whichever ride you like to get in, right? So plan accordingly. So right here, this is the game going on right now. Still, we have the wedges continue, okay? So that's the Tesla. Then let's look into hmm, Apple. Well, Apple looking nice and bullish. Look at the, oh wow, going, going, going to Apple looking great, folks. Okay, Apple on all time high 196, 200. So, Apple looking, look at that Apple, man. Yeah, Apple looking very nice. Okay, so Apple sloping support building, upward channel building. Look at that. So, this is channel. So, in this channel, every time we test bounce, test bounce right this is your rejection so it, right now mark uh, the apple looking bullish but we are at the top area so i don't like to go at the top area because it's all all time high right exactly so over here i would not touch going long side and short side let the market decide because i think okay folks i think we had a rejection here previously that's your smart money right so we'll see what would happen here folks you need market whenever market any stock is all time high you know people want to jump in in market can break out and fake out and come down right just like cycle you see the cycle goes and down goes and down so they could go and then down also right that's you need to plan accordingly so what i'm gonna look into one hour chart just to give you a little idea right now apple looking bullish okay just to let you know apple looking bullish right so they are on a breakout mode apple is on a breakout mode so they might go how long high will go probably 200 or something all right so that's your apple then we're gonna look into microsoft apple is better than uh, microsoft okay so microsoft got a divergent folks so microsoft could be uh, now oh, remember folks remember i said the microsoft once we break this we're gonna go higher right here right on um, uh, sunday uh, last look at that and since then we are going higher and higher now we got a divergent bearish divergent folks okay so right here to here this is going divergent so there is a weakness coming in right i'm gonna keep it that thing divergent so see if it is bounce from the cloud and then rejection all right so this is a support you need microsoft to break this in order to be bearish until then he's just hanging in here cloud can bounce maybe wednesday maybe thursday maybe tuesday one of the day they can break this and could go down most likely showing weakness but you never know you need to wait for this critical junction for because of diversion this diversion is might bounce right here that's what i'm thinking they could bounce and then they could go lower all right so that's the microsoft area Keep this thing in mind, folks. These are the area. All right. This is what the Microsoft look like. All right, folks. I guess um, um, if those who wants to join the WhatsApp community, folks, right here is you can scan the code, open your camera, you can scan and you can join the WhatsApp group. It's free of charge, folks. Okay. And if you are new to the community, folks, you can join the top trading edge on YouTube. I go every day live, seven hours, folks, right here. Every day I go live morning. 9 30 to 4 p.m market open to close seven hours live trading session folks okay you can join free of charge on youtube type it in top trading edge one word type it in top trading edge or click on live or click on video right here i also post market update video on sun on a sunday right here or sometime i post it here also okay like this but this is for the paid student right here these are the paid students which i release after one week these are after one week i release but if you want every day like this video then you can sign up for this swing trading um, classroom where you can get every day update it's a 750 dollar for that right here you can you can contact me if any questions you have all right so i think folks um we're not gonna have a july month too much because maybe I'll, i'm planning summer vacations here and there so i don't want to promise you you know anything but for june month folks all right so we i would say best thing to do is folks just join this one take these foundation classes that's what i would say take these are the foundation class those who wants to educate and say josh i'm losing money in the market please 
uh, what do you guide then i would say education folks stop trading and start taking education and learn that that is what you need it folks otherwise no matter whatever you do you end up doing the same thing what i did burns millions of dollar to reach this level folks that's what i would tell you education is the key all right so right there folks you have this is the number you can text me anytime you have questions all right so see you guys tomorrow morning 9 30 thank you bye don't forget to click the like button before i say bye don't forget to click the like button and share with others if you have all right see you guys tomorrow thanks bye